Hello and welcome to how to scrum. How to scrum.com uh, you'll find some great videos on there. Uh, you'll also find some great blogs on agile and scrum principles. You will find some really good template that you can use, uh, download and use straight away. And there are some free courses and paid courses to help you to become an effective scrum master. So if you haven't uh, visited uh, howtoscrum.com, please do so and, and take advantage of these great knowledge on Scrum and Agile principles. So in today's video, I want you to talk about what happens as a, as a Scrum Master, you have been given a task as a project that says all the requirements are in, are in Excel spreadsheet and they have been approved by the business and you have to run and, and develop the project in Agile. So two different two things here in Agile, you know that all the requirements are, are kind of converted into user stories and then user stories are used to work in a sprint. But when you have this scenario where you have been told that all the requirements are already being captured, approved, but they're all in Excel spreadsheet, but you need to run this project in Agile. So what should you do in this situation? Let's have a look. So first of all, all the requirements that are in Excel spreadsheet needs to be converted into user stories because user stories is what we need to fill the product backlog. So sometimes our requirement is one requirement is equal to one user story. Sometimes you might need to have more than one requirement that will equate into one user story. But the whole idea is, is, to, convert, is to convert all the uh, requirements into user stories into the product backlog product backlog that's the first thing you need to do and you need some help from the subject matter experts and the scrum team itself so the first thing to do is to convert all the all the requirements that we have in excel spreadsheet into user stories or spikes or tasks but they all have to be converted into those things and put into product backlog that's the first thing Second thing you need to do is to, once you have those stories in the product backlog, is to take each of these stories and you need to estimate. If they know what the actual story or the requirement is, you can use the Fibonacci uh, the, uh, sequence, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, um, 13, 21. If they don't know, then you can use the t-shirt size estimation which is large medium small the problem with this large medium small is that we need to say well if it's large we're going to assume it's eight story points if we say small we're going to assume it's one story point and if it's medium we're going to assume it's actually um you know three story points so when we said large medium and small at teacher sizes we need to make sure that we understand what is large medium small and you need to get some kind of a equivalent uh, kind of estimate towards that but the best is to use Fibonacci sequence one two three etc to estimate the stories uh, estimate the user stories so once you got that then the next thing we need to do is to put that into sprint so now you have your backlog and you have your top user stories which are which are clear which are estimated and they are good to go. So the next thing you need to do is take these stories and you need to put them into sprints. So you, you, you get your first sprint ready. And these are two week sprints. At the end of the sprint, you need to, need to do the demo and uh, get feedback. And then you take all that and you take into next sprint and then take the next stories from the backlog into that sprint and again this is two weeks so you continue doing so until you have done more than one more than one sprint once you've done these sprints which are completed then you want to talk about releases so again once you've done so many sprints which are completed you want to put them into a release and the release could be uh, every month every month but that's depending on the on the organization and the team 
So once they decide this is how we're going to do three sprints, then we're going to take these three sprints, put them into release. Then you can say, okay, we have decided that every three, uh, three sprints or two sprints, we're going to do a release. Then you can, uh, uh, in that, you can say how many requirements or user stories were completed. So then in terms of, in terms of uh, reporting, you can say that every requirement was put into which sprint and therefore how many uh, requirements were kind of dealt with in every release that was done. So if they always can persistently ask for requirements, how many requirements have you completed, you need to look at your, your sprints that took care of those requirements and then look at those sprints that were part of release one, uh, release 1.1 or 2.0, etc. So this is what you need to do. So just to summarize, what we do when we have a situation where all the requirements are captured in an Excel spreadsheet, you have to run the project in, in Agile. First thing you need to do is to look all those stories and convert them into user uh, requirements and user stories, and then put them into product backlog. Once you've done that, you need to estimate them using the Fibonacci sequence if possible. If not, T-shirt sizes, which is large, medium, and small. And then once you've done that, you can start planning for your sprints. Once those sprints are complete, you need to decide how many sprints you need to complete before you can release um, into production uh, or, or shippable product. So if, you, if the team decide that every three sprints completed, we need to make a release, then you can do that. So this could be every month, every two months, every quarter. So that's, that's what you do when you are given a situation where it's not agile in the beginning, but you make it agile. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, if you have any other, any other topics to talk about, let me know. Don't forget to visit howtoscrum.com to find some other videos and other information on Agile and, and Scrum principles. Thank you for watching.